Hey everybody, I'm Tim here with Oliva's Melanio Maduro Robusto, and you're watching Cigars Daily. I want to invite you to drop your rating of this cigar right next to mine if you're watching this video on CigarsDailyPlus.com. I've heard people accuse cigar makers of putting out like the Maduro version or the Connecticut version of an already existing blend as sort of lazy blending or like just grabbing for low hanging fruit. It's something that sort of makes sense when you think about it that way. Like if a cigar company puts out a good cigar, putting out a Maduro just kind of is easy. You slap another wrapper on it, you probably even use the same bands a lot of the time. But there's another principle at play when you see a popular blend come out and then the Maduro follows or even a Connecticut and that is you've got to give the people what they want this is something you'll learn about if you're writing music or writing books or blending cigars or painting paintings if you make something and people like it you'd better be ready to follow it up with another one because people are going to want more and certainly within the world of cigars if you put out a blend and people like it one of the first questions you'll be answering is when are you going to put out the Maduro and that's the case with the Milanio the original Milanio was a great follow-up to the series Series V, it's like the most popular thing in Oliva's catalog, but the Maduro now offers a more full-bodied version of the same blend, something people can fall in love with. Instead of using the Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, this one uses a Mexican San Andreas wrapper and should give us more flavor or at least more full-bodied flavor. And the question I have about this is can it produce on the already stellar reputation of the Siri V and the Milanio and just pump out amazing flavor at that high higher strength level, and the only way to find out is with a cut in the light. Okay, here at kickoff, this thing does put out some more full-bodied flavor, certainly more full-bodied than the regular Milanio, although it's not kicking my ass right now, and I'm actually enjoying what I'm getting. Certainly out front with this, as with a lot of fuller-bodied sticks, coffee notes jump out at the get-go. There's a little bit of cocoa in this, although it's not balanced with the coffee. It sits a little behind the coffee, and even sweetness on this flavor already at light up. All three really good things for a kickoff, but now let's jump into the first third and see where this takes us. As the flavor fully develops here, I gotta say, it's giving me more, more than at light up, which isn't great for consistency, but great for this overall profile. In addition to coffee and cocoa and the sweetness from light up, I'm also getting now a little bit of leather, which sits in the back with that cocoa, and up front, which is really more desirable, mocha. So now we've got coffee and mocha in the background, a little bit of cocoa and leather, and the sweetness all in the mix together. Not a fully balanced flavor profile, but certainly delectable flavor notes easy to pick out, very clearly defined, and that's like not always easy to do when you have so much going on inside a profile. Now let's jump into the second third and see what develops. So right here at about the middle point or just coming right up upon the middle point, this thing is holding a spectacular ash, which again, the Milanio is like a higher end special occasion stick for most people. So it had better hold a nice ash, but at this point it's about half the stick. And that's impressive, especially since if you follow the channel, you know, being smoked by me for a cigar is like living in a land with constant earthquakes. So I gotta give it props in terms of construction. In addition to that, the burn, the draw, everything on this has been really right where you'd expect it to be. And again, with an expensive stick like this that approaches $10 for the Robusto size, you want it to have those nice features. Flavor additionally is doing really well in the second third. It's giving me sort of the best most balanced flavor at this point. I'm sort of getting everything across the board really clearly, and there's not like flavor notes sitting in the back. No new flavor notes at this point. No real transition in this, but not really much for me to complain about because I'm actually really enjoying this more full-bodied flavor on the Milanio Maduro. Now take a look at the wrapper on this with me. 
The Mexican San Andreas wrapper on this thing is a little toothy. It's got those nice little teeth all around it. It also is a very evenly colored and very dark stick. I don't know a lot about the Andreas growing region, but this is certainly a great presentation for a Mexican San Andreas leaf. And again, you would expect it on a stick like the Milanio. But this thing needs to win out on flavor in the final third to score more critical points as we get closer to the actual like rating of the thing. So let's jump into that final third and see where we end up on flavor and strength. Wow! right at the last little bit of this thing and the ash is still holding on like a trooper over two inches of ash right now and the ash has only come off one time on this cigar now even when i review robustos which i do a lot on the channel here like just having a cigar that only ash one time is impressive and at most it could do it a second time maybe if it wanted to but that's an impressive point for construction which this thing has given me through and through and the flavor on this in the final third holds on really really well of course that strength has ramped up and there's plenty of coffee out front but still mocha cocoa is still very much in the mix even the sweetness is still there with this stronger and even a little bit hotter of a flavor this thing has impressed me especially because i actually enjoyed it more than i enjoyed the original melania which is more medium body than this bad boy is my final smoking time on this has been an hour and 17 minutes on the robusto size and my score came out to a 93. That might be the highest rating I've ever given a Milanio. And I gotta say, the flavor absolutely matched the rating. But the big thing, what we really care about is what you guys think about these. So please drop a comment down below with your thoughts if you've had the Milanio Maduro and check this video out on cigarsdailyplus.com where you can drop your rating right next to mine below the video. And I wanna thank all of you who support Cigars Daily. It means the world to our family here. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.